Hey guys, this is Neek Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing pineapple box braids. So if you wanna see a very detailed video on how to complete this style, keep watching. This style is inspired by Beauty Can Braids, pineapple box braids. So just getting into it, the hair is separated into five sections, starting from the hairline, going back to the nape. And imagine basically that you were doing like five feet in braids, basically. So you would start off by setting the style up as if you were doing five straight back feet in braids. Now, of course, we're not doing feet in braids, but we're just setting up the style, okay? I really like doing this this way because it really helps you to see what you're doing before you actually commit to the style. So if you can see here, you know, I'm still just parting out the sections. I'm sectioning them off by doing a loose cornrow to separate the style or I'm sorry, to separate the sections, basically. Um, and it just is very helpful to be able to see your canvas because when you're braiding here or you're doing any styles, I mean, the head is your canvas. And sometimes you really need to be able to see your parts. You need to be able to see, um, you know, if you need to fix anything, clean anything up. Does, you know, section four need some from section three and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, um, and then after I do that, I like to go back in, and it's probably an extra step, but I mean, hey, you know, it's it's what you're willing to do to get the outcome of the style that you want. So once I initially set up those five sections, I like to go back in, you know, and I always say, you know, use your um, gel of choice. Um, you know, there's many brands out there, so you know, whatever your preference is, um, take your gel or your edge control, go through your part and, you know, just clean up the part. I like how you do your hairstyles and like the slippage, like not everybody can slip my edges down. Oh. <laughs> not everybody gets it. I might leave that part in the video. <laughs> <laughs> I can't approve. I'm being serious, so. I know. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just parting out the small braid that goes in between. And once again, you know, it just, it's about taking your time and, you know, just making sure that you have the section or the size braid that you want. So I go through, make sure, you know, you comb it good um, to get your beginning started tuck away whatever needs to be tucked away and you can then pretty much go ahead and start your cornrow. Now as I was watching this footage and and going back over the video and just thinking about you know how was I going to try to get across you know how to do the style. Um, one thing that I wanted to say is that you know this style is probably for like an intermediate grader. Um, I hope after this video that you know someone can say like even as a beginner um, that they were able to follow and they were able to you know, complete this style um, after watching this video. Um, you know, and I, I hope I have made some things clear. But like I said, I mean it is. to be able to visualize 
personalized because with this style, placement is everything. Um, you know, if you want to have I guess you can have balance between the squares um, that you're going to eventually end up making. So, you know, just keep that in mind that, you know, it's a style for, you know, maybe get more intermediate graders, but watching this video and seeing how, you know, the sections are made out and how you're going through and putting in the smaller grades in between those pre-made sections that you've already done. I hope to, you know, I hope to know or hear and, like, leave me feedback, like, that if somebody that has never done this style before, you know, attempted this style after seeing this video, uh, especially, uh, like, maybe somebody there, you know, great. horizontally on top of the vertical ones and when you are doing them when you do your first one you know kind of just take it like right maybe before the ear you know and if you go from right to left on your first one when you do your second one go from left to right because you're going to want to alternate the the braids that go horizontally I hope that makes sense um but you're not going to want those braids to all end up on one side. So it is very important that you alternate them to balance the style. One thing that I do love about this style is that once the style is set up, the guesswork is done. So once you do your vertical braids and then your horizontal braids, the boxes are made and literally, I mean, if you're doing the rubber band method, you can go through, put your rubber bands on, and then go ahead and start braiding. So, I mean, it's great. It's 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 really great because then you can really just flow through the style. So here is my favorite part, the edges. Once my style is completely finished, I'm going to go back over the complete hairline with my edge control. And, you know, I'm going to sleek it the way that I want. I mean, you can do swirls, you can do swoops, you can do loops, honey. You can do whatever you want with the front. 
but in this case I just kind of like did a natural swoop back into the style I love my tropical roots I this is literally the only mousse um, setting mousse that I use for any type of braided or like protective style um, and once the mousse is literally just like saturated throughout the hair then I go back in and I take my um, edge control comb well it's an edge control comb and brush um, and and I'm new to using this so I really do like it to be honest um, I put a little bit of spritz on the bristles of the brush and you know, I just reinforce what I've already done. I use the tip of my rat tail comb and kind of just, you know, make sure that it's it's tucked nice and neat. I just make sure that it's brushed nice and neat. And, you know, I think it really just makes the style and it just adds that extra detail um, to the style. It just takes the style to the next level, in my opinion. So that's something that, again, you know, Take your time and pay attention to the details because it really does make a difference in the style so you know you're gonna dip your ends just the way you would with any other you know feed ins or you know whatever style um you know make sure that your ends are dipped so that they're nice and straight and that they you know they won't unravel be sure to clip around the braids. Like I said, I am very attentive to detail. Um, so I hope that that's something that you'll be able to see uh, as you continue to watch the videos um, that I, you know, make and put out. So last but not least, you know, I go ahead and put a little anti-itch spray. Um, I did get this at my local beauty supply. And um, this was something that I actually saw in Beauty Can Braids video. And you know, it seems like a really good product, so I do like to use it as well. Um, I can put a link below. So, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. God bless.